Good afternoon, Cousin O. Welcome to the Patriot Platform. I'm Abbas. And I'm Jimmy. And today we'll be reviewing everything that happened this week. Stay with us. First, we head over to the walkout story. This is Emily reporting from the Cusno walkout. Hi, Mr. Dubé. I'm wondering what this march means to you. Well, it's a time of remembrance, and we should honor everybody and really think about these issues and try to get some things accomplished instead of just letting it go to the next news cycle, you know? And hopefully, we'll actually make some change and do some good about it. Look around you. Look to the side. I see visionaries. I think it's great to see all the students come together uh, for a common cause and uh, in support of what's going on in Florida and showing grace and showing compassion. I think it's really important to demonstrate that. The meaning behind this is for us to realize that everybody has feelings so we shouldn't treat anybody a certain way or we shouldn't give past judgment because you never know what can happen. Just like for Florida. Um, condolences to them, but we always got to be cautious on what we say to people or what we do, so that's why we should just make amends to be with, um, be friends with everybody and just have a successful life and career. How do you think our students handled this march? I'm completely um, humbled by the outstanding leadership of the students that are with me right now and also the students out on the uh, football field. Uh, the remarkable behavior, the respect for what we're really doing, and the focus on supporting one another and coming together, and uh, as well as these guys said, uh, to come together with peace and love and respect and to lift each other up under one agenda to take care of each other. It was remarkable. My prayers go out to those families. Now over to Cam and Tristan with the Wi-Fi House. We're going to look at the strangest happenings that's ever happened at Cosno. Well, coming over here to the east side, when I was from the west side, one of the weirdest things is actually seeing rats playing outside. That's something I've never seen before, seeing them going in their hole where they live and coming back out. I've never seen rats before playing on the front lawn. The band kids and I, we found chicken tenders full of ants in the band locker room. And let's just say things kind of went crazy after that. I took a leave of absence my fourth year teaching and one day I went to my classroom before I left. It was probably the, the last week before I left and all of my desks had been turned upside down and all of my posters on my bulletin board have been turned upside down and re-stapled um, onto, my, onto my bulletin board. Um, so that was pretty strange. <laughs> Don't know who did it still to this day. And back to you guys at the studio. I can't believe I missed out on that. Next up is Joey and Sam with a foods class highlight. Hey Cosno, I'm Joe and we're highlighting this week foods class. I was in Ms. Pando class, 10th grade. She teaches foods and nutrition. Um, in the first half of the class, we do like our safety book work, you feel me? You got to be safe. We, we bake cookies and stuff. You got to follow procedures, uh, how, how the recipes go and the ingredients and stuff like that. Oh, the first take home project, you got to cook your own dish. Your final project is you get a partner and y'all choose a food y'all want to cook and you take it home and you work on it and then like a couple weeks, you present it in front of the class, you cook it in front of the class, and stuff like that. So it's a good class. It's a real fun class. Wow, people that take foods have great taste. Now back to you guys in the studio that we're already in. Now to Amari and Maddie with announcements around the school. This is Amari, and these are some of your upcoming events in March. Wednesday, March 14th, is your Academy Awards at 7 p.m. at the PAC. Um, tickets are on sale for $12 on RevTrack and they're $15 at the door. The show ends at about 10 o'clock. March 15th is your parent teacher conferences. Um, March 28th and March 29th are both half days. March 28th will be hours 1 through 3 and March 29th will be hours 4 through 6. And March 30th is the start of your spring break and spring break ends on April 8th. Back to you in the studio. We're going to start this off with a new segment on the show. It's Cousin O's most eligible prom date. I'm John and we're going to be interviewing students on their plans for prom in this new series on Patriot Platform. Brad. How's it going, John? 
What do you look forward to seeing the most in that special someone? That they, if they like country music, they like to dance, they're not to be ashamed of who they are. You know, you like America, it's awesome. But you know, if you like the like, two-step, I'd do the Texas two-step. <laughs> slow dance, I'm into slow dance, and you know, that's why I kind of dance. What are some reasons a girl should go to prom with you? Might look like a cowboy, I'm not sure yet. I'm just kidding, I'm always gonna wear cowboy boots, so if you don't like it, you know, skedaddle. Why should someone go to prom with Brad? Well, I can't think of anything, actually. No one can resist Brad's cowboy boots, his Wrangler jeans, and his plaid shirts. He is all American country. If you wanted to go to prom with me, Brad Ruffini, President of America 2035. Back to you in the studio. Drew Brees signs a $50 million contract with the New Orleans Saints. The people say he is guaranteed $27 million per year. Drew Brees is going to lead the New Orleans Saints for the near future. Uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> Detroit Lions' Tavon Wilson, safety, re-signed two-year contract through 2019. <laughs> now we pass it over to Luke with all your weather needs. Salutations, Cosno. Here's your weekly weather. Throughout the country, the south is... Uh, fairly warm while the north is more on the colder side. Overall, we're merging into spring gracefully. In Michigan specifically, sometime. There it is. There's a 55% chance of precipitation, so stay clear of the uh, spontaneous rain. In the five day forecast, it's going to be uh, 34 degrees today and 41 tomorrow. Keep it real. And that's it for our Patriot platform. I'm a boss. And I'm Jimmy. Until next time. And he is Luke. Farewell, cousin. <laughs> <laughs>